Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to talk about the Azure Server Management Tools. Uh, it's a new preview feature that's introduced in the portal and it's it's a web based tool that actually allows you to manage your Windows servers through the Azure Management Portal. Um, that that actually that tool doesn't really matter where, where the servers are located. It can be either in your on-premises or in the cloud. So the tool primary is actually focusing on uh, this managing Server 2016 servers and also a Nano server, which actually doesn't come with a GUI. So this diagram shows how things fit together in server management tools. So you download and install uh, the server management tool software package in one of your on-premises servers, which is shown in the here. It's, it acts as a gateway. Uh, what it does is it creates a un outbound um, tunnel to to the Azure Server Management Tools service, which is hosted in Azure. Um, so the, uh, what happens is when you actually want to connect to the um, to the on-premises servers, Azure Server Management Tools service actually uh, make the communication through that tunnel through the gateway server to the other servers, which means you can actually use your own private IP addresses from the Azure Server Management Tools service to actually uh, make the connections to the on-premises servers. Um, setup is pretty pretty much straightforward. I'll walk you through the setup uh, in the next couple of minutes. So here we are in the new Azure Management Portal and if you navigate to the Azure Management Tools um, you will see nothing here because I haven't configured anything and if you go to the gateways you will see nothing as well. So to create a gateway, you first need to create a um, to add a you need to add a server here, uh, which should be a server which which can be anything in your on-premises network. So I'm gonna type uh, one of my servers in there and then select the subscription and then I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna create a new resource group for this. Uh, G and then. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give a name to the uh, server management gateway. And then uh, currently the uh, Azure management server is actually, management tools is actually available only in these uh, areas. I'm going to click one of those area, uh, central US. So it's successfully created now in here. Now, if you go, um, if you go click in there, and then if you go to the gateway, you will say configuration is required. Click here to configure the gateway. So there's a special package that you need to actually download, and that's all your connection details in that gateway is all configured in that package. So that's why we need to go here and click click uh, copy this link and then download that uh, link on the gateway server and uh, configure that. So here I am logged into the server 2016 TP5 server and I'm going to paste that URL that I copied and download that to here. So let's click that save and we'll go to the downloads and then open Let's, um, that's a zip file, so let's extract that. So it's extra extracted now, and then let's go install this. So I'm going to use generate self sign certificate because it's only the communication between the server and the Azure uh, service. and it's installed so that's all looking good so let's go back to the Azure portal and then let's cancel this let's do a refresh on on the gateway and let's have a look at so it's now saying health condition of the gateway is okay so let's cancel this cancel this and let's go back in here Now the gateway is returning OK. Now it's saying it's waiting for credentials input. So let's go manage as, and then I'm going to enter the um, uh, I'm going to enter some uh, domain admin details in here, 
and so that it will have actually uh, permissions to actually connect to the server so it's never let's give it a bit of time the reason why you cannot connect here is because because I'm trying to connect using the IP address and uh, Microsoft by design is actually uh, rejecting uh, passing the credit SSP uh, to the IP addresses without specifying the domain names so the reason I'll show you the reason why so here I am in the management gateway and if I try to connect to this um, this server using the IP address it rejects it and if I try to connect to the um, same server using the server name it actually connects so that's the reason why you cannot connect. Um, so um, I need to run this command to actually. Uh, I need to add the. I need to add those servers to the trusted list, and I'm adding all of the. I'm um, actually the gateway actually trusting here in this command everything. So I'm going to run that command, which will actually trust all the servers. Um, and then I'm going to try again. So I'm going to go. Um, type the username and the password click OK so that will give it a go another crack and then that should actually connect so yeah now it says that server updates required so it actually requires w, uh, WMF5 um, so that's not a problem. I'll um, we can install that server because it's a server 2012 server. That's why it's requiring this WMA5 upgrade. Um, so I can install it here itself, and I'll let it go, and then I'll come back to it once it's installed. So here it is now. It has installed the WMA5, and now it's successfully connected after that. So it says this connection status is okay. Gateway is also okay. It Excuse me, that's the server that was into R2 data center server, and this is the CPU utilization and etc. So you can go actually go to settings and you can see all the features are in there, which I will actually go walk through all the features in a later uh, video. Um, so now let's go and add a nano server, which is um, actually uh, which is actually this is built to actually manage the nano server. So let's go and add an nano server here which I have already um, got in uh, 34 and um, yeah I will add to this existing resource group that I created and I'm gonna use the existing gateway because I want to I want to use the same gateway for managing everything so let's let's go and see what happens there so the server is now added successfully. So if let's go back to the server and it, the gateway is, uh, is okay, but it's actually waiting for credentials. So I'm going to input the credentials here, and it's currently not domain joined, so I'm going to give the local admin rights. So I'm going to click OK, and let's wait. So you can see now it's actually connected, and it's a uh, server 2016 in data center, and it's the nano server that we configured. So, um, so this is what's basically the, uh, the how you configure the gateway and how you add the servers. And once you add the servers, you can actually restart, um, shut down the servers, and then manage all the servers, monitor the performance, and etc. I'll walk you through all the features in the next in another video. Um, so yeah, that's all from me for this video and you know how easy enough to actually configure the Azure server management tools and get your servers monitored anywhere in the world. Um, and um, yeah, you can you can take your servers and monitoring uh, within your hands. So hope you enjoyed this video and um, yeah, thanks for listening.